Hey everybody and welcome back. I wanted to talk about um, supplements, dosing, carbon, what I use, what I don't use and why, so on and so forth. So um, I live in Seattle and in the winter time it's not super cold but it is cold enough that we do have to close our windows and with that comes a lot of excess carbon dioxide buildup uh, which is um, made keeping a uh, higher pH really kind of unattainable unless I put in a carbon dioxide scrubber, which I'm not going to do. Uh, so I just kind of want to talk about what I do, and yeah. So we're going to start over here, if you see on the left. Um, it's all Bulk Reef Supply. Uh, I love Bulk Reef Supply. Um, their prices are fantastic. Free shipping uh, over orders, I think, of $49. Bucks. Um, and compared to my local store, I can buy in bulk for so much cheaper, um, and their customer service is great. Just the other day, I I bought a couple hundred dollars worth of stuff, and then it went on super sale for Thanksgiving, and they refunded me the difference, uh, which was smart of them because then I just went back in and bought uh, auto top off system. Anyway, so uh, looking on the left is Mr. Chili's mixing jug. Uh, these are their own mixing jugs. They're made out of PVC. They're one gallon. They're awesome. Super cheap. Buy them. Use them. Um, just fantastic. Okay, so now for dosing my two parts. Um, I use the calcium chloride and the soda ash. Um, even though I don't have anything in my tank right now except for sand, rock, uh, some snails, and some fish, I'm losing about 1.5 dKH in alkalinity a day, uh, and my calcium uh, levels drop um, from like you know, 430 to 410, so about 20 parts per million uh, every single day. So I have set up a two-part dosing using uh, the dosers uh, that I bought through Bulk Resupply. Calcium chloride is very simple. Obviously, you're going to be adding a little bit of salt into your aquarium, so over time you'll need to even that out by um, taking out a little bit of water, adding in some fresh RODI water. Very, very simple just to mix it up um, and works great. I recently switched to using soda ash, which I think anybody in a cooler climate is going to want to use. Um, soda ash, you know, its counterpart being sodium bicarbonate, uh, which is over here. Both of them achieve the same thing, except soda ash raises the pH, while sodium bicarbonate lowers the pH. So for anybody who lives in a cooler climate that you just don't have access to fresh air all the time, or if you live in a basement or have a lot of people in your home <clears throat> and you have trouble with pH, check to make sure you're not using uh, sodium bicarbonate and you are using soda ash. Um, soda ash and sodium bicarbonate, it's just baking soda and washing soda. Um, I always get confused which is which. I think the soda ash is washing soda. Um, so I mix these up. I put them in um, for my calcium chloride. I dose it um, during the day, I attach the dosing pump up to my Neptune Apex controller, and I have it come on for five minutes at a time. I think I have to dose about 40 minutes total every single day of the calcium chloride to keep my levels stable. For the soda ash, I dose it in very tiny amounts. you got to be careful because it does significantly significantly raise your pH for the, for the short term. So I dose it overnight because, like anybody knows, pH goes down overnight. Uh, it's when all of your organisms uh, uh, kind of release their carbon dioxide, which um, lowers your pH. So I dose for a total of 22 minutes, 20 to 22 minutes, and I do it in two-minute increments starting at about 10 p.m. and going until I think it's 6 or 7 a.m. Um, and the cool thing about having your Neptune Apex is you can see uh, the exact effect of when you're dosing, when it turns off, back on and off, because you'll see spikes in your pH, but it really has kind of leveled it out. During the daytime in the winter, my pH is about 8.03, and it can get as low as 7.85, but I'm trying to keep it um, 7.9 or above. It is a little bit low, I would like to keep it higher, but it's safe for corals, it's safe for anemones. Um, in the summertime, it, it will naturally go up higher. Just make sure you don't have large swings, that's all I'm trying to do, is to keep it uh, somewhat constant. <clears throat> um, if you're going to buy carbon, activated carbon, absolutely go with the BRS Bulk's Premium ROX 0 0.8. It's more expensive, absolutely, um, but based on testing, it it clarifies your water and removes 
<clears throat> a lot of um, elements that that will cloud your water. Uh, it just works fantastic. Um, I would definitely recommend buying a reactor to put it in. Um, <clears throat> that's the best way to do it. Uh, that way the all the water gets cycled through quite frequently. Sodium bicarbonate works well. Um, it's just baking soda. Um, use this if you have the opposite problem, which is your pH being a little bit on the high side. You can use that, but I don't think I'll ever be using that. And lastly, of course, is Kalkwasser. And this is a huge conversation in and of itself. I was dosing Kalkwasser for a while, uh, just to try to keep my calcium and alkalinity levels um, good, but it just it just couldn't do it because you can only take two two teaspoons or two tablespoons. I think it's two two teaspoons uh, per gallon of water, and it was not at all keeping my calcium or alkalinity levels up. Um, another problem with Kalkwasser is it's very very um, uh, very very uh, alkaline, and it and it's kind of toxic actually. You got to be careful. You don't want to breathe it in uh, if you have kids around, which I do. I don't want them touching it. Uh, it can cause irritation on your skin. And it also, um, no matter no matter how you dose it, it's going to clog up um, your pumps faster. It's going to it's going to put this this kind of hard white covering on your pumps, on any tubes, on your glass. Um, and so I I really personally don't think it's ideal. If for some reason my pH uh, falls any lower than it is, I will start dosing my Kalkwasser again, and I will dose it at nighttime, um, and just I'll connect a dosing pump and do it that way. Uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to hit me up. That's the basics of what I use for my two-part, as well as my carbon. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.